Since 1926, the Sprayberry family has been serving up barbecue to the people of Noonan and beyond. But it's more than just barbecue. It's about tradition, Friday night lights, family gatherings, holidays, and they're here for the Brunswick stew and the legendary lemon icebox pie. Sprayberry barbecue is not to be missed. My grandfather um, started this restaurant and, and actually started as a gas station slash grocery store. My grandfather used to love to tell the story that he would come up, a car would pull up and uh, he would go out there and pump their gas and, and, and they'd order a sandwich and he'd go to the window and, and say, give me one barbecue sandwich. And then he would go around inside and fix the barbecue sandwich and, and take it out to him. So how long have you been coming to Sprayberries? Uh, 31 years. Uh, 20, about 28 years. I've been coming here since 1947. Wow! Oh my gosh. <laughs> they feel comfortable coming in here. They know their waitress. They, they know the cook in the kitchen. You truly are a regular. <laughs> so are the rest of you. <laughs> we probably use 15 to 20 hams a day at each location. We put them on the smoker and smoke it over the wood, which is hickory, uh, some oak. They're cooked for 10 to 12 hours like that. And everything's hand chopped or hand sliced. We don't use any choppers. It's all done by hand. What well, makes you keep coming back over food, and over again? The food's good. The service is great. The atmosphere's terrific. This is a pork ham I'm slicing up right now. We serve it sliced or chopped. Put it on the plate here with the ribs. Then we take our sauce, or our, put the sauce on here. What is it that makes you want to keep coming back here? Well, uh, for me, the uh, it tastes the same today as it did 28 years ago. Nothing's, it's always the same, it's always good. You always go home with a full belly. Another item that's is good for us is a Houston Special, and that my grandfather came up with. He used to go over to the chopping block and there would be some of the outside pieces of brown pieces. He would put that on a sandwich for himself and then he would put some stew on top of that. And that's the way he, ate, he used to eat his barbecue. Customers would say, I want to get one of those sandwiches like Mr. Houston eats. So we, put, we started calling that the Houston Special, which is a barbecue sandwich that has Brunswick stew on top of the sandwich. I love coming out here because you always see your friends and people you know. Newton's a small town, even though it's large now, it's still a small town at heart and people come in here. We see, these are families we've grown up with and we see them day in and day out. It's just, it's kind of neat. People find out you're from Noon and they bring up sprayberries and oh my gosh, we stopped and had sprayberries for lunch and I love that. Up next, I'll talk with Donald Sprayberry Sr., the second generation cue master of this legendary barbecue family. So we're here with Donald Sprayberry Sr. Correct. Your dad started Sprayberry's Barbecue. He's the original multitasker. Houston Sprayberry, that's correct. Now that was 1926. That's right. We're still here in current day. That's right. And so many people associate, okay, I'm going to Noonan, Sprayberry's Barbecue. Well, people don't like change as a whole, and they like to go to something that their memories are instilled in them. And yeah, we are fortunate about that. You don't change it when you got something going, going right like this. So if I'm coming here for the first time, mm -hmm. what should I order? What's the ultimate order? What do I have to try at Sprayberries? Well, right in front of me is the Louis Grizzard barbecue sandwich, Brunswick stew and onion ring. And you know who that's named for. Of course. Louis. That was his favorite, and that's one of my favorites, really. Number one is the onion rings. And you wouldn't think that at a barbecue place, but uh, these are the best onion rings anywhere. People don't even look at the menu here. They come here so often, they know exactly what they want. Very few million people will take a menu. I love a good barbecue sandwich, but I do also like the nachos. Those are new and they're really good. I love how you say they're new because they've been on the <laughs> menu for 10 years and it's Sprayberry's world, that's well, new. Yeah. A big sweet spot, pardon the pun, uh -huh. is that lemon icebox pie. Yes. People dream about that pie. We've had that for years, and uh, Lewis loved that and publicized it for us. You have to think of 
the birthdays, the Friday night lights, the football games, the Christmas, the holidays, so many memories associated with Sprayberry. I have a high chair at my house. I bet up until the 70s, three-fourths in them and sit in that high chair at one time. <laughs>